Hi guys, this is Basco Berry here. In this scenario 8, I'm going to show you how to use the normalized transformations. Here I've taken a small demo showing that like uh, transposing columns into rows based on address 1 into one separate record and address 2 into some other into one more extra record. So before going to that, I'll just show you the source table. It's source underscore address. What I'm trying to achieve is based on this, I'm going to form one row and again based on address 2, I'm going to create one more row using the normalized transformations how we can do that so let me start with the um, designer a source I've already imported the source uh, tables here so it's s underscore address even the target t underscore address is uh, one more table the target table so there's nothing now so I'm going to create a mapping to connect these two Drag and drop the source here. Similarly, drag and drop the address target. So, once you finish this, use the normalized transformations. So you can't drag and drop these columns to here. Okay, that's the reason why you'll be creating a ports here. Go to the normalization tab here and create uh, three columns. I just need a name, door number, and address. String number and string. Occurrence. How many number of occurrences I need? I just need address one and address two, so I'm giving two occurrences for all this. Name it as name building number address. Okay. These ports are to reset. If it is an incrementing identity key, that once if we click on this, it resets the count here. Okay. Click apply and okay. So you can generate all the two to because we are we have used uh, occurrences too. So we got two to here. Name one, name two, building one, building two, building. So these are the uh, occurrence. So now we can map to this. So name. I'm going to map to name one as well as name two. Building building one and building two same i'm applying because but we are going to partition based on the address like um, make a separate row based on the address one and address one so i'm going to address one i'm going to address one one address two and separately i'm going to map it to that address two so these are all um, if you see here these are all input uh, input rows which we need to input them but the remaining below are the output rows so we are going to map it into the target name to name name building number to address okay let me validate this mapping mapping is valid just save it into the repository okay so once it's saved let me create a workflow for this Go to mapping, change the connections. Okay. So let us start with the workflow. Okay, I didn't save this, so let me save it. I've saved it. So let me start with workflow. Go to the monitor so it's running here. Okay, 
moreover we use this normalized transformations when we are dealing with the cobol thing because cobol the data is uh, denormalized format okay let me check why it has failed this time here get the session log it's saying that invalid object name I think it couldn't map to that so let me check again the connections to this so we have mapped it to the staging DB it should be the target DB that's the reason why it has failed here target DB click OK apply OK then save it then again rerun the task it has succeeded so you can go and check in the back end so in the source we have five rows and what we try to achieve is to make separate columns based on this so let me run both now you can see that there are 10 records in the target address see for airtel building number 120 the address one was artinagar and address 2 is bangalore so we could generate two separate rows here based on the address 1 and address 2 similarly for uh, dell hp lenovo all these records we have 10 records based on this address 1 and address 2 separately i told you this normalizer function is used mainly for the cobol source data because in the cobol the data will be denormalized format so it would be he helpful if you use the normalized transformations in such scenarios and not only that if even if, it, if you need to generate a multiple records in the target based on a single source record you can go for the normalized uh, uh, transformations thank you for watching please do subscribe the below button thank you